Hey everyone, this is Mindless Bow, and we are now back for episode 4 of Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. And before we start, I'd like to apologize to anyone who, uh, my good buddy Crimson Fantasy made the note that I need to turn the brightness up on the video. Uh, this game was pretty dark in general, and uh, I'm playing it on the recommended settings of the game. Like everyone knows, when you play a dark survival horror game, they have that brightness setting at the beginning, and I always put it to its recommended setting. You know, the game was meant to be played dark. Uh, I tried for the sake of the viewers to go on to my uh, video editor and actually raise the brightness level up through the editor and that did absolutely nothing for brightening the game. All it did was brighten my webcam up to the point where it looked goofy as hell and it, and it changed the game not one bit. Now, uh, at first I thought that, you know, maybe it was darker than it should be because my TV settings were off, but the Elgato records not what the TV is saying, it's recording what the PlayStation 4 is saying. So it has nothing to do with my TV monitor. And, but I will note that after getting his comment this morning, I went back and watched the video, and it does look a lot worse on a phone screen. Uh, when I watch it on full screen on my monitor, or anyone who should be watching on a TV, <clears throat> you're seeing a little bit more closer to what I've seen. But it's incredibly dark looking on a phone screen, unfortunately. But like I said, I actually played the game pretty much this dark. That's why you see me checking the map a lot because I, you're more or less using my pointer and the map to kind of show me where the doors are because the game is, you know, a dark, really fucking dark game, which is something considering that most of the Resident Evils were pretty brightly lit and you didn't really have to worry much about lighting. But I apologize if that to anyone who that's, you know, an annoyance or if that's turning any new viewers off from watching the videos. So... But anyways, we escaped from the garage, and now we're going to go into the main hall since we got the ox thing, so let's get started. Alright, hopefully this ox statue gives us what we need. I feel like there should be another miss piece missing here, though. No, I guess that would be it. I thought we had to put something on this side of the door. Three ways out and two sets of steps. What is with the bobbleheads? Gunpowder. coin. Why can't I use my flashlight? I mean, honestly, there got to be a way to use my fucking flashlight. Alright, here we go. Did my daddy give you a hard time? That's your father? He used to be. I'm sorry, but he, he he's, a, he's dead now. <laughs> you just might be able to pull this off. What? Pull what off? There's something I need you to do, but I can't explain it right now. You may need some sort of keys to do it, but find a way out of the house. Okay. I'll be in touch. Well, you really need to stop giving away our position. I keep on seeing that shadows from that fan. Keeps on freaking me out. here. So we need a Cerberus head. That's one way that we can't go. this scorpion door clock pendulum <clears throat> all right captain howell from the state police told reporters they have stated a search for helen midkiff a college student from north carolina who is traveling in louisiana 
Miss Medkiff hasn't been heard of since the night of the 21st. Reports of missing persons in South Louisiana have increased dramatically in the past two years. The majority of those missings are tourists and vagrants. At least 20 people are thought to have gone missing so far. Police suspect foul play and believe that there may be a connection between the incidents. Plans are in place to set up local interrogations and increase personnel to further the investigations. Alyssa Ashcroft, January 19th, 2016. So we in modern day then. Alright. There's nothing of interest around the main eatery table here. Alright, so that's the way I came in. Where is that leading us to? So we got a shotgun already? You can't you gotta be kidding me. God I have a feeling this is a trap. Oh, should we do it? It's a trap. I know it's a trap. I knew it was a fucking trap. And I don't have no ammo for it. Well, at least it's not that kind of a trap. <clears throat> Alright, so we need something to replace the shotgun. We got here chem fluid. Combine. That's just what I read. All right. So what we got back here? Does it say? Sky Hunter. Need to have some type of an eagle. It's a scorpion door, lock door. Alright, so we need to go back and put this pendulum in the other clock. And, uh, yeah, we need to go back and put this pendulum in the other clock. See what happens. All right, let's see what this does. White dog's head. Okay, so we got one of the dog's heads. Sweet. All right, that's one key down. Alright, it's one of three down. Looks like we need to head upstairs. Looks like it's time to head upstairs. There's a kid's room. Eveline. Eveline. So that was her boot. What is that? A number two on there? I really like their football. Never trust people who like sports, that's for damn sure. Oh, that woman's still alive, okay. Guess that's grandma.
Where are you going, woman? There's no point in shooting them. Let's stick with inside first. Maybe it's daddy's hobby. I was going to unlock those doors. We're coming up on recreation room. Oh, geez, the whole entire house ain't fucking shit. Can I take the pool stick? I guess that'd be a about worthless weapon. There's our broken shotgun. Stick into the roots, guys. Stick to your roots. Just like the first game. Another coin. These creepy fucking bobbleheads. Marguerite, move that piece of shit hippie we caught from the hall to the processing area. Goddamn hippies. Goddamn straight. I hope they got the hippie. See, starting to think that these really ain't bad people. So what we have here is what we call a failure to communicate. They don't know that I'm a psychopath. They knew that I was a psychopath too. I feel like we can really come to some type of terms or agreement here. I hope like you can keep the bitch. Ooh, we got a tape. A Mia tape. Alright, what do we got in the trash can? More gunpowder. Don't I already have gunpowder? I got two gunpowder. Combined with chem fluid to create handgun ammo. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So we have a choice. There's our blue dog's head. Sweet. Yeah, we're gonna be running out of inventory space here soon. Should have stopped off and loaded off our items. Port safe stores coming. I had a lot of trouble cleaning up after the last one a few years back. I guess it's time to reinforce the windows and shore up the roof. Maybe I'll get Lucas to help. The water has finally receded. The house is alright, but the old house was badly damaged. Lucas is making fuss about a huge ship that's washed up in the bayou. If that's true, I better report it to the parish. I'll go check it out tomorrow. Ah, uh, I'm starting to wonder what came on that ship now. So we'll pick up the Mia tape. Nothing in there. Oh, what are you? Who's texting me? Okay, okay. You know what, I feel like I'm gonna need to save and restock before we do this videotape, so give me a second, guys. Before we do, we're gonna drop off the dog's head. That's two out of three. Alright, now we can unload and restock here. Alright, I guess we'll watch this videotape. Ethan, please watch this. Alright, well, come on. That wasn't me. I don't I don't know what happened. There's so much that you need to know. There you are! 
You gave us quite a scare, young lady. Okay. Okay. Shit. <laughs> well, that's fucking creepy. Did we just get locked in? Fuck. Well, I got an awful lot of TVs. That isn't what I think it is. I hope that isn't what I think it is. I know Resident Evil fans are knowing what I'm thinking. I am sick and tired. deserve this except open my home and feed you I don't understand you at all this is a gift. okay okay so she locked the door behind her left this one open. Venomous Predator. What's with the white shadows? No, I think I'm screwed. I don't know if I can sneak back in there. God. And what do you 
do? Uh, uh, be a bitch. I, I don't know. Crazy people talking to themselves. So what do we need to do? We need to figure out this spider puzzle. close tell me that ain't good enough I was going to say that had to have been good enough uh, somebody please explain to me what the hell just happened there door. Okay, I see. Alright. Oh, God, there's going to be spiders in this. Those were always such a pain in the ass in the first game. God damn it. You. You. All you have to do is accept her fucking gift. Son of a bitch. Which way are you going? We love you. Why can't you see that? Stay right there, you little bitch. Oh shit, okay. What do you mean? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, so we're trying to get past this crazy witch. Things don't seem to be looking too good, so I think we gotta go down in a crawl space. Was that? Is that Zoe and Where do you think you're going? <laughs> yeah, kick that bitch in the face. Yeah, who the hell was recording the whole time? Well, all right, uh, we, uh, poor Mia has been captured, and it was another neat little videotape thing. I was actually hoping there was a lot more of these in the game, but since I'm pretty much done with it, and I'll also make that note as far as the brightness goes, I'm pretty much done with the game, so there's no point in me turning the brightness up at this point. Almost three quarters, if not, I'm pretty much at the end of the game. My session here tonight, which will be Monday night, will be my last session I need to play, because I'm real close to the beating of it, at least I feel I am. <clears throat> But, uh, yeah, we're back to Ethan. You know, we finished the Mia tape, and there wasn't a whole lot of tapes in this. Like I said, I was expecting a hell of a lot more. But overall, since I said I'm almost done with the game, I fucking love this. It was a fantastic game. It was a great kind of reboot of the series and a redoing of the game mechanics. Not that I, I love 6. Everyone was down on 6. I love 6 and 5 and 4. I love the, that they revamped it into a newer style for those three games. And I still love the original ones, but I'm loving where the series is going now with this. And I hope they make more, so... This is Mindless Bow. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys again.